Welcome to the I'm Josh Sand Real Estate Edition. This is the episode that you all have been waiting for. This episode breaks down the numbers, the acquisition costs from all the rehab costs, from the mess ups. I'm gonna give you all the numbers and a breakdown and show you that how I'm gonna get my investment dollars back. So let's go over the costs. So acquisition costs, And I may spell acquisition wrong, but the acquisition cost for duplex was $69,000. So $69,000 for this duplex that I saw, and it was in bad shape. So when you see properties that are like in bad shape or in areas in which, you know, is not really a pleasing, uh, then you can really negotiate your financing. So that is very, very important. So a lot of people, you all want to get into real estate or you want to get into real estate investing and some of the properties that you see may be dilapidated. And when you see properties that are dilapidated, the bank is not going to give you any money to finance it. So either you have to go the hard money route, but the route that I love going to is the owner financing route. So I had this deal owner financed. So convince them to carry the note. So I put $5,000 down as a down payment. And then I created, or he gave me a two year term. So So my monthly note is based upon $64,000. I negotiated to pay him $521 a month. So I pay $521 a month, supposedly for two years. But my plan is to rehab it and then refinance it. And that is really a method that we'll talk about. They call it the Burr method, B-R-R like uh who was that gucci man gucci man say burr it's really a burr method when it comes to real estate so this means buy rehab refinance reinvest so that's that is the burr method that we that that i'm talking about right here so with this project now this is a duplex so I have spent, and we'll talk about, cause you all have been watching and you've been tracking along. I put 3,500 to remove trees. So in the first episode, when you see all those tree man, they was cutting down all the trees because you couldn't really see the house. So we had to cut all the trees back. Then we have dumpster. And I won't go through all these little uh, minute costs, but a dumpster cost me $416 every single time. Now this is what's really changing the game when it comes to real estate investing right now in the supply chain. The supply chain is really, really messed up when it comes to lumber, drywall, electrical wiring, things of that nature. The price, the prices have gone up tremendously which drives your initial rehab costs. So in this uh, duplex, I spent 25,000 in materials. So then $25,000 in materials. Now we're working on two sides. So if you divide that up, that's 12,500 per per unit. And which is not bad, but this is not even counting the electrical. So some of the stuff is with electrical, but electrical is super expensive. Now, if you watch the episodes, I've been through three contractors. When I say it's costing me money every time we have to stop and readjust, so I have to hire somebody, it costs money every single time that I do that. So. 
we're gonna talk about the money that I have lost just hiring and firing contractors. So I started with one electrical company that cost me $4,000. $4,750. They started for three weeks, four weeks. They did a little work. Then I couldn't get in contact with them anymore. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and that's, what's, and really, you know, that's one of the things that is, um, it's, it can get kind of tricky when you don't live in the city that you're invested in. Uh, you can't keep your eye on it every single day and you can you're out of town and They know that you live in another city and you're calling and calling and they're not picking up the phone Then that's just a loss. So you just take it as a loss. So I spent four thousand seven hundred fifty in electrical Then I hired that very first crew Manny <laughs> It cost me four thousand dollars as a deposit to get him going guess what I had to fire him because he wasn't doing what he was supposed to do. All right. Then we'll go with my latest uh, firing. This is a new elect electrical crew. They did what they were supposed to do, but actually, no, they didn't do what they were supposed to do, actually. So I paid them $9,000 to wire both units and they did the wiring, but guess what? The wiring that they installed was not per code. So I had to fire them. And I had to hire another crew to come and do it. And they're gonna charge me 4,800 per unit to fix the mess ups. So the total is, $22,550. All right, so we'll take that over to our cost over here. And so we're at $64,000 acquisition costs, $25,000 in materials. Then we have tree removal. And then we have actually $22,550. And I will call it, I won't call it waste, but it's practically waste. Um, that if they would have done it right the first time, then I would have to keep hiring and keep hiring and keep hiring. So we got to add that in there as well. So, when we put all these numbers together, so labor costs as well. So I, I didn't even cover labor costs. So labor costs was 12,000, 500, which gives us a grand total of 127,966. And my cameraman is uh, being, he's, a, he's an accountant, so he's getting the numbers right. <laughs> so that is my all in cost. Now you're saying, well, Josh, how do, you, how do you get this money back and how do you plan on purchasing 100 units by this method? So what I'm gonna do is, and per the comps in the area, so I have my real estate agent run comps in the area of duplexes that have been rehabbed and been sold within the last year. So the comps in Montgomery right now for duplexes range from 185 to 225. So those are the comps. Comps are that you're just going in the market, seeing what's sold that matches what you have. So when they run comps in the area, they just go and run the numbers. So you can get a real estate agent to do it. Uh, your the guy that's gonna do an appraisal, he'll run comps in the area, and that'll come up with your value for what you have or what you have invested. So I've invested 127,966. What I plan on doing is, is I'm gonna go to the bank, we'll just play it on the high end. So just say it's going to appraise for $225,000. Now with commercial property, it's different than residential property. 
in commercial property, the banks are only going to give you about 75% 80 to 80% loan to value. All right. They're not going to give you 100% loan to value. They're going to give you 80%. So we'll take 80% of 225,000. That's $180,000. So, that's $180,000. I've spent $127,000. Grand total is $52,034. All right, so now you see why real estate is a great investment tool because when you have acquisition costs, you have all your, your expenses to get the property to where it needs to be, then the property appraises for more than what you paid for it, you subtract, now we know 80% loan to value, it's $180,000. I'm going to go and get my money back, so I'm getting all of my rehab. He's getting paid back. I'm getting all my rehab money. All the money that I spent, I'm going to get back plus make a profit of $52,034. Rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat until you get to 100 doors. So that is a formula and that's an easy formula and you can really duplicate that. So going to neighborhoods that people look down on going to neighborhoods that are close to downtown, going to these communities where you kind of frown your nose or you scared to drive in, there's where we see most of the value. A lot of times in real estate right now, there is a real estate shortage because last year was so much money pumped into the ecosystem that people were literally making good investments and buying all the real estate. But there are still opportunities and where I am, there are plenty of opportunities. So if you wanna know more information about these methods or anything we're doing, make sure you subscribe, like, share the I'm Josh Sam Real Estate Edition, and make sure you share with somebody. If it's valuable, leave some comments. If you have any questions, leave your questions in the comments and we'll be sure to answer. Don't got no heart, I got an icebox. Brand new rolling, swipe out the G shot. Moving slowly, I know the street hat. No more double, go ahead and detox. Yeah, yeah.